Hey everybody, it's Istvan82. I am back. We are, um, back where we were hopping, as you can see. Pick up batteries? I don't need any batteries. Fuck your batteries. Um, reload. And we're back where we were after last time. Uh, I noticed some weird green boxes last time when I was done, so I fiddled around with the settings a bit. I'm hoping that fixed it. Oh, there's one of those thermos. It's a shame it's not full of thermite. Motherfucker! Ah, I'd like some thermite right about now. That whole, you know, burning with the intensity of the sun thing would be damn handy. Yeah, I'll let the battery recharge. I'm not about wasting materials. They're going to be way too useful at some point in the game. You know, there's going to come a point in every game where resources get so ridiculously low that I'm going to be like, I need a battery. Ah, you dick. Come on. There we go. Goddamn. I also have to be way more careful with uh, bullets, but I have... Shit, poor aim, so that probably ain't gonna happen. Alright. Ah, oh, wait, what's that? Is that a pages? I think that's a pages. Ah, uh, manuscript. Let's take a look. In the TV in the gas I station. into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was, was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place. They or did. There'd been some kind of With fight. With their penis. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, mm. and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come huh. alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Okay, well, um, that's good to know. Very good to know, thank you. God damn. Is this even the right way to head? I don't know. Let's sit here and recover for a minute. I don't think I need to, but I will anyway. Gun? Or bullets? That's awesome that they just leave bullets lying around. It's, well, this is, uh... Some type of rural area, so... Right, let's see. Oh, it's up that way is where it's telling me to head. <laughs> Look, where? Uh-huh. This way? Maybe? Wait, there we go. Ah. It's probably going to be a flare gun, isn't it? Yep. We've got a decent amount of flare gun ammo, I guess. But I'm still going to be paranoid. I've also can to save the rifle ammo too. It's always the unusual ammos that you end up needing. That's gonna come after me, isn't it? I can just fucking bet it is. Is there a run button? What was it? It's not that. That's it. Ah, motherfucker. Touch salad though. A man like me needs a hefty meal. That's for the day. Well, he's, uh, he's nuttier than squirrel shit, so that's good. I'm glad we're, uh, keeping our distance. Ah. Mother bitches, I knew it. Why did that hurt him? Come on. I'll wait a Ow. Alright, well. There's pages there. It's gonna say something about the heavy machinery barreling towards me, isn't it? That's the way this shit kind of uh, tends to go. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Hmm. She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. Well, not. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. Uh. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive mm. without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. 
She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Well, you probably are crazy. Let's be honest. What about this seems in any way normal? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Ah, rifle ammo? Oh, shotgun ammo, I should say. Don't need the batteries. Sticking with this for now, thank you. Well, here's that damn television. Science. It bestows immortality oh on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. It's a Twilight Luke, fucking zone shit. Einstein, Sagan, it's that Twilighty show about that zone. Men. But the price for such a legacy is I want to see what the hell happens. Indeed. In Night Springs. Ah. Uh. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. If our lives are already hmm. written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Interesting. Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Huh. Sorry, I know someone with that last name. It's not exactly Ladies common. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin. This has got to have been so acted out by people here that were like Morgan staff Institute. at the company. Okay. Tonight, I'm going to give uh, a practical demonstration uh, of the many worlds interpretation. The many As worlds you interpretation. Can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real said gun? Quantum kidding, suicide, right? which please, would please. mean that you stay. Don't know if it's an actual suicide or it's not a suicide while it's being observed. It's a murder. Against my own forehead. Now you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. Okay. This is not sorry, no, I'm watching television. Let's see where the shit this is going. Always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. Wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger in another reality you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely Okay, trivial. this is there's an infinite number of good bad TV science. The moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is this what did he unplug? thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Yeah. Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Okay, so you unplug. Why did he put his quantum mor mortality machine with an easy to hit plug? Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his poor, poor Dr. Colvin, my asshole. The man was retarded. Masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. Yeah, shooting his box. Adam unobserved. That's basically what it. In night spring. That's basically what the whole thing revolves down to. He is both alive and dead at the same time, blah, blah. It's the Schrodinger's cat theory that's actually really just complete bullshit. Because you know for a fact that if you fill a box with poison and uh, put a, or, you know, a box with a cat with poison, the cat's dead. It is not in the state of alive or dead. It is just dead. These things are going to fall on me. Everyone knows that bullshit. I don't trust those fucking birds. Damn bit. Changing a spot for me is not as simple and tricky as you might think. It can be dangerous. It requires Okay. Apparently Krieg the Psycho is here. I mean, that's one of the DLC characters from Borderlands 2, but I'm waiting for him to start yelling about stripping the flesh and salting the wounds. I seriously am. Oh, no. Even with the engine block takes tool. Dropping tools? The engine will move it. Go! Easy and fatal! 
Okay. That worked well. Okay. That work? Uh, I guess so. Looks like the best answer is to, uh... Yeah, it looks like the best answer is to throw the f or shoot the flare gun Stuck at the ground. His body actually, vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I yeah, I'm not exactly pleased with this either. Can alive. I knock those down? I just thought about that. Nah, all right. Ah, there's another thermometer thermos. This is pick up coffee thermos. I mean, I get that they're collectibles, but. It kind of seems needless. Alright. Where the hell? Ah, is it over here? No. What the hell is that? The fuck am I even going? Hmm. I am going that way according to this. That didn't do shit. Ah, there. Apparently that was what I needed to do. Well, fuck you. I could go back and refill my bullets, actually. I think I should do that. And the ammo just seems like it's going to be very valuable and important. <laughs> 